Welcome back to Sleepover. My name is Daniel Cabral. Oh, I'm Luis Lemos. And I'm Vince Caldera. You, I know I usually you say usually, it right yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're hey. And guess what? We're switching it up. We're dude. switching things up. Oh, yeah. I don't know if the people can tell yeah. that uh, we got a new light. We kicked the thing up a notch, okay? Yeah. Because you know what I want to do? I want to die lit. Die lit. Oh, we took it nice. up to 10, and dude. Guess what we're wearing? Whole lot of red, baby. Mm-hmm. Except for me, I, yeah. I I didn't get the memo this get, morning. Uh huh. You never get in the memos because you're still f- using a fax machine. Because you, <laughs> you always speak facts. Mm-hmm. Two million views in one video, Vince. That's craziness, man. That's crazy. But you 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 advised me on how to do it, so you know if anything, you you had a hand in that. You know, I mean, right? I got a hand in everything over yeah. here, dude. Because hey. it's a sleepover, and we're getting wild. Fuck you all. You got this. your hands on Glocks, dude. On dude. Glocks, dude. Yeah. It'd be so cool. If, oh, what the hell? Yeah, it clicks. Yeah. Oh, no, it like flips back, dude. Yeah, dude. That's true. Um, do, is... do, do you want to tell us what that is? Yeah, it's so it's a transformer gun. We talked about guns a few weeks ago, so I wanted yeah. to bring this on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this actually reminded me of something. Vince, you used to have a joke where he used to go on stage and pretend you had a gun. I pre- yeah, well, uh, that's... Um, it was like a gun control <laughs> joke, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, I was a teenager when I wrote it, yeah. so obviously not a good joke. Um, but it, I remember I did that joke once in Seattle. <laughs> this is what I remember. And then, um, <laughs> oh shit, you're not. You're I did not that lying. joke once in Seattle, and uh, I pretended to like just like you know, reach into my zip up hooded sweater. And then there were some people afterwards who taught me that, who told me that they thought that I did have one. And I was like, Nah, I'm just kidding. Wait, this is a real <laughs> yeah, joke. Yeah, that's a real thing. Yeah, yeah. Why would I forgot about that. Yeah. Why? Why? Because I'm I'm fucking a teenager. You know, I'm yeah. like a, I'm like I don't know the right thing. To do i think that's funny even when you were a teenager i always respected you, you know? yeah there we go <laughs> but now i'm just like wow that's such a terrible bit i that's it is pretty, pretty bad and pretty it is funny to think about getting shot up in an open mic though that's yeah. that's such a funny notion to me it's yeah, always it in the back of my head yeah. that that could happen you know one yeah. time uh vince and i did an open mic and this is it was at rafa's which this is how you already know it's gonna go bad it's like where is that at <laughs> so it's on sunset in echo park but you have to like go down into like this weird basement sort of thing and it's yeah. it's like in a weird intersection between two staircases there was an open mic there and one time at the mic we were all waiting and this guy shows up and he has this huge suitcase next to him and the whole time we're like oh fuck like what if he has like a gun in that suitcase yeah. mm-hmm. ends up going on stage and he pulls out a puppet and starts doing his whole act with the puppet which is worse than a gun yeah so yeah. much I, at that point i was like oh i wish we had gotten shot up instead of seeing a fucking <laughs> yeah. ventriloquist the weirdest thing is though it was a black ventriloquist i've never oh. seen a black ventriloquist yeah. before it's like seeing a british asian person like there's nothing wrong wow. with it it just kind of throws you off yeah it's like yeah. seeing an asian cowboy <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't even know if it was a we're radio. just throwing out really specific <laughs> things we're like yeah it just disorients you yeah, yeah. like a blue apple right huh yeah, 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 yeah. it's just like I, I, you know <laughs> name I, something weird in the comments <laughs> yeah because i support black comedy you know what i mean but black, like this pod and being funny yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, know, black, you, you support what i support black comedy but a black yeah. ventriloquist i'm just like ah, i don't even know if i can support it yeah I, I think if you can like do it in a really crazy way then yeah definitely you know mm-hmm. obviously like you want to be different but yeah imagine cat williams as a ventri- ventriloquist what if i feel the, like he could probably do that successfully like, what, what if just like a black guy controlling cat williams and cat williams <laughs> he's already so small <laughs> yeah, cat williams is already a puppet yeah. like there's just like some marionette above yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look a close you look closer into those netflix specials and you see like a uh, fish line string down <laughs> Yeah. Who's, who's the puppet master, you know? Who's controlling the strings? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, that's a wild bit with you and the gun. One thing that I would want to do, you know, it'd be so cool. Let's yeah. say I'm just doing stand-up, right? Just running through my regular bits, killing it and shit. And then I just, like, reach for something, and I have a holster with a straight-up, like, Glock right here. And, like, I don't call any attention to it, but they just see like that. Like the I'm, police holsters? Yeah, like the 90s yeah, like police holsters? Yeah, like fucking Chris Tucker in Rush Hour. And I just stay there, like, oh, this comic, like, he's cool, and he's, like, strapped. Like, what if someone's heckling me, and I just be like... Yeah, but I, and I shoot, pop, pop, pop. I, I shoot their glass like what they're drinking. I'm like, pop, pop. <laughs> you know then what I mean? Twirl the gun back in. And I put that shit back in there, dude. Is, I, k- I kick my feet on the, the stool for some reason. <laughs> just like be- trying to look as threatening as possible. The people are just trying to have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Are you fucking here to be scared, bitch? <laughs> Yeah, I love that. Which we never seen one of these before. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like I like creating an atmosphere that uh, is dangerous. Yeah. I told you, just putting the gun on the stool too. Just and like, all right, now let's get to it. Now, now, yeah, I'll, try looking at your phone while that fucking yeah, phone, you put, while you, that gun is on the stool. That'd be fucking. I'm like, are we family, yeah. everybody? Are we family? Let me put this shit away, and I put the thing on the stool. <laughs> Start off. With, I want to ask you guys a couple things real quick before I get started. <laughs> now yeah. tell the truth. Don't get scared. 
Don't get scared. Just tell the truth. The truth <laughs> shall set you free. I put the gun right here and I aim it towards them a little yeah. bit. You know? That's what I'm telling you guys. I'm not afraid to die. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm. This is reminding me just of bad stuff that's happened at open mics. This is this is actually pretty embarrassing. Just so, just so y'all know, we're we're all stand ups too. So like before COVID, we um did a lot of stand up comedy. We're at open mics doing shows, etc. Even during COVID, we were risking our life in Orange not worth County. It. Yeah. Here and there, yeah. Not worth it. But it's uh, responsible. You were saying. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I remember this uh, this one time at an open mic where it was the last open mic at this specific place uh, at the Glendora Continental. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a bunch of comics were standing in the back and we were all joking. And I remember I went to the restroom and on the way to the restroom, I saw a funny meme. And the meme was just uh, someone had taken a picture of themselves opening a Dunkin' Donuts store, except the Dunkin' Donuts store has a, the letter D and it says... Dunkin' Donuts trying to make me touch that D. Miss me, with, <laughs> miss me with that gay shit. And it's them grabbing the door so they don't touch the D. And I was like, oh, that's funny. Use the restroom. I come back out and I see a comic friend of ours still standing at the back. Uh, I thought it was Finn Straley. Yeah. So I walk up. And I stand next to him. We're watching the next comic. And I remember the meme. And I'm like, oh, Finn will think this is funny. So I pull out my phone. I show him the meme. And I look up. And I realize it's just a random guy. Yeah. <laughs> Did he laugh though? <laughs> he laughed, and uh. I was like, "Oh, I'm like, I guess this is how guys make friends." <laughs> and then I went to the, the comics I knew, and I told them, and they're like, "Oh, that's funny." And then we saw this guy go on stage and just proceed to tell the most misogynistic jokes of all the like of the entire night, like just the worst jokes. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, this guy's my friend now." Like, I didn't know. Yeah, this. That's, that's how we met. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was Daniel. Yeah, but I feel like maybe you showing him gave, gave him the courage to be like, "All right, I can say the things that I want to say now." But at least he, he laughed at what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he laughed at what you were showing him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is the most awkward feeling. Cause sometimes I'll go to an open mic and I'll chop it up with people we know that I haven't met in like for thirty minutes, and they go on stage and just say like the most vile, <laughs> wild shit. And I gotta be like, oh, I gotta still be this person's friend. And then they tell you, hey man, good set afterwards. Yeah, they always like, tell you good set. Look, I'm an I, enabler. Look, this is what the thing. Look, you tell me good set, and I'll tell you what I tell people who did not have a good set. Yeah. What? Well, well, hey, you had a really good set tonight. Oh, thanks, man. It was nice to see you. Yeah, that's all you got to do, you know. Um, I'm like, hey, wait. Like, you said that a lot to me. It's always good to see you. Every <laughs> time I see you, I play, it makes me smile. It's good to support the arts, but um, you have to be selective in the arts you choose to pursue. It's to good to support, support, but you don't have to cap. You don't have to lie. Yeah. You don't have to tell people that they're doing good when they're not doing good. There's been some people that have been posting lately that have not been doing good stuff, and I'll admit it. I liked some stuff. I just try to support. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Uh, I'm and I'm losing you. You'll know that I like to post, but that it was not a good post just because I was trying to be supportive of this person who definitely needs some help. Got it. But I, you know, you shouldn't support people sometimes. You should definitely tell them how it is. You know, you should just be like. Bruh. But to to, to also counter your wait, point. Wait, what, sorry. What if I do like the Goodfellas opening? It's just like me going like this. That's actually the Goodfellas closing. Is it really? With wow. uh, with Joe Pesci. It's oh, a reference shit. to the right. yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. To 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 your point stupid. though, if someone did a bad job, you don't need to. Well, maybe you might need to let them know that they did a bad job, but be de- <laughs> be delicate in the way that you do it. You know, don't be like, hey, this is what you know. Yeah. Because it, it you you're obviously like doing stuff that you want to mm-hmm. be doing, but you shouldn't like. You don't have to cook people. Look, I understand yeah. comedy is one of the hardest things to do. That's why I'm trying to I try to be nice to everybody who does it. You know, yeah. even if they're not good. Because that believe it or not, there's a time when I wasn't even that good. Vince, what? Really? you're lying. Yeah, yeah, hey, no, it's hard to be uh, I'm capping, right? Cap button. You know what I mean? Because I've been yeah. there. You know, it's yeah. crazy that we started at like 16. So a lot of our bad years. I were before we were 21. That's almost half of them. What does yeah. suck about us starting so young is that you invite people and then they see that you suck and then they're like, I'm not going to fuck with this. But now we're, we're getting good We're getting good again and now people are like, I fuck with this person. Don't fucking lie, Vince. We've been good for a minute now. I'm not getting good. I'm getting God, dude. Look, fucking yeah, damn. Over here. But like, <laughs> stupid. Like, let's say we're good. But you're right, though. I invited some friends when I was 16 to like yeah. the show at the improv. Dude, you were you used to invite... Yeah. A grip of people to fucking mind. People show up to your stuff. People yeah. still show up, dude, because I got fans. Yeah, people yeah. want to see me, dude. Um, but you remember that show at the improv? This uh, that thing, how that class that I took. I yeah. Don't, don't even like improv. I think improv is stupid for the most part. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know. I but, like it a little bit. Go on. Um, but I'm fine. there was I'm like eight year olds doing stand up comedy. Yeah. And I like looked at the friends that I invited, and they were from Eagle Rock. And at the time, we were all 16, so to get to Eagle Rock to like Hollywood, Hollywood that's yeah, a mission, it's a mission and a half, dude. Yeah. And they come here and they mission see mission and a half. <laughs> <laughs> they come here and they see eight year olds doing stand up comedy. Yeah. And I just look at them and I just want to apologize. I just want to pay for their ticket. And I just like I am so sorry. 
And you're more worried about the kids doing well than you are yourself. <laughs> you're like, damn, yeah. these kids better not fucking kill the vibe nah, of the dude, show. They did kill. They fucking. They ruined it. Yeah, they did kill the vibe. Like they destroyed it. And then my friends told me they're like, yeah, man, that show was a little weird. And like eight, <laughs> eight years later, he's like, yeah, that was a really bad show. And I'm like, you know what, man? But I made it up to you because we had a show in Eagle Rock at Mia's. Yeah. You know, that was fucking dope. We had a smoke machine. Yeah. Do you, and, I, do you still everybody have brought the smoke. We still have it. Yeah. Well, I want to bring this thing for the podcast, though. Yeah. You know, I love doing shows at a hot dog place. Look. People do can't kill in a room that like is empty that has a nice ass light and a stage. Yeah, we had a good show next to a halfway house. Yeah, next to a busy street. Yeah, at a fucking hot dog restaurant. You gotta create success on your own terms. Mm-hmm. You know, just because like you know we, we have like these establishments that are like oh it's it's this place it's like uh, the comedy store the improv those are just buildings mm-hmm. that have like a nice name attached to it. it's like a whole branding of it. Yeah, but yeah. the but, same stuff can happen at a hot dog stand. Bro, you know? we had freaking people getting taken out at an ambulance in the middle of people's sets. Yeah, dude. I swear to <laughs> God, not once, not twice, but like three times. Yeah, that happened like, a good amount of times. Multiple times. There was a comic on stage once who was trying to do a joke, and some dude was just playing a depressing violin somewhere. <laughs> very loud so his comedy was just probably better imagine yeah. doing stand-up and bombing and then having somebody praying playing a violin behind you a lot of comedy is also watching bad comedy yeah, um, yeah. it makes you better but. i'm also remembering one time that a friend of ours i'm not gonna say his name because i actually felt bad when i did this he whispered in my ear oh. <laughs> uh, when, you, when you do the captions i want you to put whisper but then all caps the name of the person <laughs> well, he, he, he had a set yeah but right before his set, a homeless guy had walked in and was sitting with all the other comics. <laughs> I remember this. Don't, go on. No, he, he doesn't. Do you, <laughs> you fucking. All right, keep going. He doesn't have that great of a set. Okay. <laughs> so when he gets the light, the homeless guy just walks out. And I proceed to go up on stage afterwards and be like, wow, you made a guy walk who had nothing to do all day. <laughs> You would go stare at a wall instead of seeing your jokes. <laughs> this one really had nowhere to be. <laughs> it was like I'd rather be anywhere else but here. <laughs> we tried inviting the homeless people, and then like one or once or twice they'd show up. Yeah. I remember we the, did a lot of ho- uh, shows for the homeless yeah. for a lot of homeless audiences, mm-hmm. and that's that's so. That's and great. then sometimes we have shows for the homeless, and a dumbass comic proceeds to uh, make fun of them, and we don't get invited. Back. Jesus Christ, yeah. Tony Bartoloni! I'll say his name, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't but care like, about burning that bridge at all. But he, what did he do? Because I remember I had a great set. Two, I'm two for two with the homeless. Oh, so we, I, yeah. At one point, we had we were having benefit shows over in Northeast LA, all over Northeast LA to raise uh, money for the uh, what was for, the place? recycled resources. Yeah. And we had a lot of great lineups. We had like Melissa Via Senor, Maria yeah. Danford, a lot of great people. And so, but those were usually for just regular people where we'd take in donations. And then two times we had actual shows at a church where homeless people would stay for the night and they'd mm-hmm. get food and then yeah. we'd actually have a show for them exclusively. You had to meet people in your community and that's what felt really nice about it. Yeah, they were all Raider fans. I'll yeah. tell you what feels really nice. What's so funny <laughs> is that seeing like people who are doing successful now, like Melissa, I'll name drop it. Melissa yeah. had a bad set. They almost ate Michael Longfellow alive, you know what I mean? <laughs> like the homeless people did not give a fuck, dude, but like Brennan Cooney Brennan destroyed. Brennan Cooney destroyed. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, boy, they always love, the homeless yeah. love me. Fucking, who else had a good oh, set? Oh, I, I ate shit mm-hmm. i've never done jokes either in front one of, of us did well on yeah. that one but it was just fun we, to be yeah, there yeah, yeah. it's fun it's just fun to make people laugh who just you know they and then tony laugh. went up on stage and just uh. like i admire you guys for being homeless and it just like it just sounds so condescending yeah. Yeah. what did he say he's like you guys are bra- you guys are actually my heroes he said that shit and we didn't get invited we back. didn't get invited back dude <laughs> yeah that shit we literally back. can't help the homeless anymore because of tony Bartolo. <laughs> crazy. Of a guy who looks homeless now we can't help the homeless I know. dude but uh, I, re- I did a homeless show like last year in january yeah. and then they're like saying like okay just keep it clean do all this stuff you know five minutes and someone's like hey so uh what's your second be about and i'm like ah it's probably gonna be about how mexicans are racist people and he's like oh sh- shoot and then i go up there and rip that shit up and you know oh really i love when people ask me about like so what are your jokes about and i just tell them like a wild bit yeah you know what i mean i'm like i don't like going to the beach with mexicans and this and they just walk away yeah and they're like oh no oh no yeah. you know what i mean i um, do i do get i do hate getting asked that question of like oh what are your jokes about i'm like they're always just about me mm-hmm. yeah so, like some shitty thing that i did but yeah. it's just like i always feel weird just describing it yeah. i just like telling people like the worst topic just so they get the worst idea and then when i go up there they're like ah you know i was rooting against <laughs> Actually, this guy a lot of people have told me that they saw your jokes 
And they're like, oh, yeah, at first I thought that food was racist. And, and then I heard the rest of it. Yeah, that's funny. Because well, yeah. it's so, one of my biggest things that I do not like is somebody saying some shit that you already agree with at the top of the joke. You know what I mean? So yeah, because they do that to, to have people get on your side, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's yeah. too easy, though. Like, I want to say some wild shit. I hate going to the beach with Mexicans. Yeah. I got your attention. You don't like me. I'm going to take 45 seconds and I'm going to make you like this joke. You know what's funny is that all three of us have taken that same stand up yeah. class and it, it kind of like relates to like have a strong emotion connected to what you're saying you know yeah. mm -hmm. Go I, I, <laughs> I have an intro to a joke where I say I'm tired of all this gay shit and then the joke ends up being about how my gay older brother and his boyfriend make fun of me yeah yeah and I, then but that first thing is like mm -hmm. that you, it usually gets a good reaction or the whole room is dead silent yeah but I, <laughs> no. dude, it feels so good and a lot of people don't like this but you got to dig a hole sometimes dig yeah. yourself in a hole and if you can get out of that hole then that just makes you a fucking good comic, dude. Yeah. Some people are just like, uh, what's some shit that people already agree with? You know what I mean? I just, uh, like, here's the shit. Cops I hate are bad. It. Cops are bad. But like, if you just go off the top, like, but, uh, hey, I'm a straight white male. Sorry. And it's like, dude, I just want to take this gun and just go. Oh, oh, oh. Once at one of our shows, there was a comic who was a straight white male and rich. And he's like, can you believe that I, I grew up with a lot of money and you know stuff like that? And we just laughed at him because it's like, yeah, obviously we fucking know. Like, we, we made fun of him by acknowledging that he was just like these things that he's saying. Mm -hmm. And he felt so bad after. Who was it? Uh, do you, I don't do you, even remember it. Um, I'll, I'll tell you later. <laughs> I'm remembering one time at a mic. I keep bringing up open mics. I'm sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, where uh, this uh, this straight white woman yeah. went Ooh. up on stage and immediately was like, I just came back from buying a car. And then her whole <laughs> joke was just about the hassle of buying a car. And everyone's like, yeah, no one can fucking relate to this. Yeah, like, dude. Yeah. And then she left early because she's like, oh, no one likes this. And it's like, yeah, of course, no one's going to like this. Well, whisper no to my ear. Whisper to my ear. Left in a brand new car. Oh, it was Ellery Smith. I'll fucking say her name. Oh, like, yeah, she funny. doesn't deserve any fucking. Damn, dude. Any yeah, censorship, I, I, yeah. I did one of those NBC diversity uh, things. Oh, and yeah. one of the people that, that uh, went on to the next thing was actually a white woman. And I'm like, come on. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I remember I had a very, very good set. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like, like I was like, I'm for sure getting it because this everything hit. The every every comic heard and like they're like, this shit is popping. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I knew that you were gonna make it next. And then yeah. I saw the list of the people that did make it, and it it made me feel better because it was one Latino, yeah, one kind of gay guy. <laughs> One black guy. You remember. You and know? It was just like a bunch of tokens that They're they like, picked. Let me get know? every single thing of one person. It kind person. of says a lot about Vince. And, but <laughs> here's the thing. Is I was like, I don't like those competitions because it's like, you know, it's white people being the judges and they're kind of like trying to tell me how diverse I am. Mm -hmm. And that's like, that's not how it should be, you know? Yeah. So like, you know, like the thing about Mexicans, somebody, what was the question that somebody DM'd us about, right? Was this going to be a good lead in? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I can pull it up actually. Yeah. Um, well, Vince, while Vince is pulling it up, I have a topic I wanted to talk about. Uh -huh. All right. I hate when you're trying to go out with a girl and all she does is bring up other guys dude it's a woman thing to do i don't know why they do that i think they think they're trying to be vulnerable with you and i'm like the last no. couple times i've gone out on dates it's just been like i just hear about their ex-boyfriends all the time i'm like the only time i'm hanging out with a girl and she starts talking about another guy the only guys i want to hear about are the lakers <laughs> like get the fuck out of here i don't want to hear about your ex <laughs> like me, talk to me about Car anthony davis <laughs> caruso <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about Kuzma. I'd rather talk about, I'd rather talk about Kuzma than your ex-boyfriend. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. She's like, my ex-boyfriend is Kyle Kuzma. I'm like, bitch, you gotta go. <laughs> now, that shit is really annoying. Like, when I was dating... I feel like it's... It's kind of not appropriate, but it's just it's their way of talking. I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to sound like Patrice or something, but it feels like a woman thing to do to talk about your ex. Like I remember when I was dating Jasmine, for like the very first three months, she was like, "Yeah, he was just really mean to me." And I'm like, "Okay, he was mean to you, but you don't have to talk about him." <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always like they bring up their exes, and then it's like, "Wow, that guy sounds shitty." How is that my problem? Yeah, how, <laughs> how is that my problem? And I'm like, "You're with him for three and a half years. Okay, maybe you are a little bit dumb." <laughs> I, I love this topic. Yeah. Um, how about you? Yeah, you have opinions on this topic. Yeah. I kind of you do. So uh, this is about how the people talk. No, how about girls talk about other guys, yeah. specifically their exes, like very openly? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, I, I can get like the whole talking about it, you know, and I feel like there's some sort of like... Um, there, what, what's the word for You're it? Trying to make it sound woke. Just say the <laughs> shit. Trying, say, I mean, speak from the heart, Vince, for one time, and I'll translate it. I mean, it makes you feel feel good when you like talk about the other person, just like a little bit, because you're just kind of. I, I think that you're just um, trying to let that go, right? Oh, okay. And I feel like it, it could kind of be like a challenge. Like you know, this person was like this, so like, how are you better? And that person that I used to date. So yeah. I kind of like see it as, as that, you know? I see that mindset. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Baby girl, I'm different from your ex. I'm worse. <laughs> I'm much, much worse. Said so she wanted a dog for Christmas, so I cheated on her, dude. 
my god. Who, who said that? <laughs> just Did, was that you? No, I said that's a Luisa. That's right there. Dude. I came up with that. That'd Damn, be so, dude. Yeah, my girl Bitch, I'm a dog. Ooh, my girl took me to the dog park and I was like, I'm gonna go play with my friends. <laughs> uh, I, who is that Drake thing? It's like, oh, that was your girl? I thought I recognized that's her. That's such a hard yeah, one. I love that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Really dreams is really not a challenge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He has a lot of uh, great bars. He's always uh, taking someone's girl, dude. Always taking someone's girl, man. Mm-hmm. Could you there should be like a like a, a group of people like a that there's not there's no Facebook groups anymore, but like a, a Reddit thread, I guess, of just people who have lost their woman to Drake and they're just like, Yeah man, how did how did it happen to you? That's sad. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine Dude. using your girl to Drake, like, because like I love Drake so much. And I had to. <laughs> All right, you lose your girl to Drake. Do you still go? Do you still bump his music? And do you still go like support him? That's the hardest question ever. Because I listen to Did Laugh Now, cry later. You Marvin's room after getting your girl stolen by Drake. Oh, like, that's crazy. Would you do it? What if I'm the guy? He's like, she picks up because like she knows I'm not around. Yeah, <laughs> he's calling her. Damn. Oh man. That's that one time I had a date so bad that I got home and I'm like, wow, I can't even listen to Drake. Like I'm that defeated. Mm-hmm. Like that's Drake, and that's a crazy mindset. You're like, no, Drake hasn't even covered what yeah. I went through today. That's <laughs> Melissa to silence, dude. <laughs> yeah, you just have to listen to your thoughts and just be like, damn, where did I fuck up? You ever have a date so bad you just go to sleep when you get home? Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> just, I would take Nike will and just be like, I'm gonna be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wake me up in a month. Yeah, you take a whole bottle. Dude, I used, to do, <laughs> I used to do stuff like that, but you feel so good the next day. Yeah, it was a problem though. Yeah, I, I do want to try lean. I think I, I've expressed this oh, a yeah. lot. I want to try lean so badly too. I'm, and I'm, with you, that'd be sick. I want to try lean because I think it would taste good. Like that's really <laughs> it. Like you know, I've had cough syrup before because mm-hmm. I've been sick. I've used it responsibly, mm-hmm. but I'm like. I kind of I like this flavor, you know. Yeah, you like sugary stuff too. You I know? like sugary stuff. You know, what? if anything, I'll just balance it out. You know, I'll try like I'll put some um, cough syrup in my coffee, just kind of like well, so I'm like, not so too on that. makes you sleepy, so yeah. do coke Ooh, while you're drinking lean. Yeah, yeah. lace just it, lace it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that'd be so sad if you guys both overdosed on yeah. something, and I'm just have to run the podcast by myself. Yeah, how <laughs> awful would it be that you you find me just like with an empty bottle of Nyquil? <laughs> oh my god, and you like yeah. your stomach looking all lean because you, you, you get fat. Right? You would have a lean gut. And you also have way too much hair on your stomach, so you just like <sighs> look like really gross. Bits. I don't like having body hair. I don't know why you still continue to have it. Yeah, I mean, I, I it's just a thing because you mentioned that. But like, every time you take your shirt off, and I'm like, there's like a bacteria growing on your stomach. <laughs> and Vince, need- I forgot about this question. Yeah, go on. Oh, no, no, yeah. oh yeah, the question. All right, because we, so we, we were dude. talking about like you know we we briefly spoke about diversity and things like that. And we do talk about identity, right? Yep. Um, we had a question from a, from um, a subscriber, a listener. Thank you so much for submitting this, but it was um. Hey, I was watching the latest episode and Wait, was wondering who sent it. Tell me, you know, uh, shout them out. I'm not gonna. Um, shout I gotta out. go back to the to the username, but <laughs> now, okay. I, we'll I shout you out at the, the end. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll shout you out at the end. Um, but <laughs> I was wondering if you guys could talk about a certain topic. Here's the topic. There's people who have Mexican grandparents, but they themselves don't speak Spanish mm-hmm. and look very white. And it seems they only claim the Mexican when people try to joke with them because they're white. Mm-hmm. I like to see what your thought, what thoughts you guys have on that. And, I, you know, I get that. I, I think uh, in, in a sense, like, there are sometimes people that, like, only claim their diversity when it's convenient to yeah. them, you mm-hmm. know? I think kind of, like, in the vein of, like, when we were talking about how frustrating it was for that diversity competition for yeah. someone to be like, hey, I'm this. Mm-hmm. It's like when white people only use, like, their 2%, uh, you know, yeah. d- diversity to excel mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. opportunity. Like, like like Elizabeth Warren, yeah. you know? <laughs> this, like, this reminded me of a quick line from King of the Hill where there's a half Indian kid. But his he thinks his parents are both white, mm-hmm. and his half his uh, full Indian father is like, oh, when it's time to fill out college applications, we'll see what race you put. Ooh. And yeah. that sort of makes me think about this right now. Is like, oh, when people are fill- when these when those people are filling out college applications, like then suddenly they're Latino. But yeah. I also do think it's weird because they bring up the light skin part, which is like a lot of Mexicans are light skin if yeah. you think about it. Like it's yeah. just it's yeah. just how it, it, it came out culturally. But um, it is weird, like choosing your identity in specific places yeah but, but i feel like we do that the same too like if we're around white people i don't feel like we emphasize that we're La- well i feel like we do emphasize that we're latino but they i feel call, like they, i do it more now they, yeah they call us the mexican boys <laughs> yeah which at first i was like they're like oh those are our mexican friends i'm like that's crazy because what i call you guys and they're like what and i'm like my friends <laughs> <laughs> my friends yeah no i love that i love nick oldershaw's line about it. he's like <laughs> He says he's the Jane Goodall of Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit is so problematic. It's so funny. 
you. Shout I, out to Nick, dude. I usually let people know. Like I, I, I've mentioned it like in a joke before. Like where um, the mostly the people I speak Spanish to are my grandparents. You mm-hmm. know, I can't. I don't really only speak Spanish if you know I need to speak Spanish. Yeah. You know, and the woman at Target. And, the, and the woman at Target. Yeah, <laughs> and the Danny's lost, waitress. And the Danny's waitress. You're Danny's like, Hola. waitress. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get in trouble. Shout shout me out, Denny's waitress. Yeah, uh, we know you're listening. Yeah, yeah. The moon's over my hand. I'll give your son a fucking father. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm 24. I'm trying to get tied down <laughs> right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to settle trying to jump down into today. it. Yeah. You, know she, you know she can cook, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I know she can <laughs> she at least bring the food to the table. <laughs> I mean, that's all I know at this point. But what what, what are you gonna bring to the table? <laughs> Damn, I'm bring love because I got a job right now. Hey, so. just, and you know what? Not every relationship has love. Let's get into that. That's oh, true. Shit. Yeah. That's true, dude. You yeah. know, but you, uh, you, all those you know Instagram pictures don't don't show you how much that person loves you. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Instagram is cap. It's all cap. It is crazy because you're just trying to convince people that you're leaving a great that you're leading a great life mm-hmm. all the time. And imagine if social media you shared those moments that were bad. I mean, mm-hmm. sometimes people do in their stories, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, that's worse. That's worse, yeah. No, I hate seeing worse, people yeah. who are showing their realizer I'm like, ah, oh, damn, like, show me a picture of you at the beach. Like, I don't want to see yeah. you yeah. actually being sad on actually, in, I, your Instagram I, stories. I agree with Lewis a lot <laughs> yeah. because when somebody just posts how, like, a long-ass story about how, like, life is not going good and they're going through a depression, I'm like, yeah. oh, that's cool, but uh, you can just... <laughs> <laughs> Dog, it's 2020. Everybody yeah. was doing that shit. Like, if you feeling bad, text me, dude, but I'm not gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna skip through your story. I'm sorry. I'm gonna yeah, shit's skip. tough all over, honestly. It, like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's July, dude. Like, yeah, go to the beach. <laughs> and if you're a girl, take a picture at the beach, and I like it. Because <laughs> I'm all about throwing That's likes. That's so funny. And show, That's <laughs> I'm all about showing love. Yeah, dude, I love that. Yeah. Um, have it, you ever gotten in trouble for liking a girl, another girl's photo? Uh, I have, yes, I have. Yeah, I, got definitely. Did, I didn't even know the answer. Wait, I didn't even know the question, and I already knew the answer. Like, I, I, did you ever get in trouble for it? Just like, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I have, and you know what? <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna go further into yeah. that topic. Daniel, but I, I did. To, to, I, I got in trouble. I got in trouble one time and one time only. Yeah. And then she's like, "What? What did you like about this photo?" I'm like, "I like the picture." And I was like, "You know what? Let me see your phone." And she showed me her phone. And I was like, "You see how many followers you got? You see how many I got?" I'm like, "Step your game up, dude. Start <laughs> liking photo people's <laughs> photos." Craziness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is like I could never do that. <laughs> Daniel does this very funny thing where sometimes he'll look up. So if we're in a social setting. He'll look up a specific girl's profile, and then he'll be like, he'll look through the profile, and he'll be like, wow, it seems like this one guy in the group specifically liked all of their photos. And then you're like, explain yourself. I should be like, just you do say explain yourself. I love the way I'm like, explain yourself. I I have seen this uh, this, uh, television show with my girlfriend uh, about, um, there's like this woman, it's like a Spanish television show who uh, goes up to a random couple mm-hmm. and they're like, hey, you, you guys look happy, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, do you guys trust each other? Mm-hmm. All right, now give each other your phones and go through all of your inboxes and DMs Ooh. and stuff like that. And then almost every time they break up, they yeah. get so mad, they uh-huh. break up, they look through like WhatsApp, Facebook, everything. And it's crazy. Like, I, yeah, Imagine 2020 though, getting broken up with your girlfriend over a Facebook messenger. Fucking. <laughs> Yeah. That sucks. Dude, who's using Facebook? Mm-hmm. I get the fuck out of here. Emails, dude. That'd be crazy. It's insanity. <laughs> Where are the emails? <laughs> uh, but uh, we got to take a quick commercial break. I'm liking this talk. We can yeah. run it back, but uh, we'll yeah. be right back in just a few seconds. Stay tuned. All right. We're back with hey. Sleepover. Let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. Right, right, before this, I, I just want to bring this up. Yeah. I'm remembering a very funny thing from this last Lakers season where – they interviewed a player called Rajon Rondo mm-hmm. and yeah. they asked him about how good Anthony Davis was doing mm-hmm. and then he, his response was what you want me to suck his dick or something <laughs> <laughs> which I feel is a very much me attitude whenever you guys bring up someone and you're like oh this person did this and I'm like alright so what you want me to suck him off like, I love how confrontational that is too like what the fuck are you asking me for I don't give a fuck care, but yeah it is like you know I, I get that it's like don't talk to me about someone else's like if you're talking to me talk to me about something we yeah. mutually have yeah, in yeah, common yeah. You don't, know? Yeah, don't talk to me about Michael Longfellow's birthday. <laughs> that's, that's, hey, I, I'm a fan. Happy we, birthday, yeah, Michael. Yeah, he's too long. We can't get him <laughs> in our mouth. What was the question you were going to Here's the question. Okay, let's say hypothetically somebody goes through a breakup, right? Yeah. And they're broken up for a little bit. And somebody at, and they get back together with their girlfriend. Yeah. And somebody asks them, how long have you guys been together? Do you count the time that Do you've you been apart? Do you count the time apart? Okay. No, no, you reset. 
You reset. Yeah. You reset. Well, okay, like let's say yeah. I, let's say I was with somebody since 2017, hypothetically. Yeah. We break up for a little bit, right? Yeah. We get back together, and then they're just like, "Oh yeah, we've been together four years." And I'm like, "Bitch, no." <laughs> I, th- I think on paper it looks nice, but also you have like a whole thing of like are people pa- sending our resumes? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck well, are you talking about? I, hey, but, there seems to be a very big gap in your employment history right here. What happened? Well, it's what like happened? Hot. You, 2020. Uh, like, this, what do you uh, want me to say? Where where were you? Uh, this gap, like uh, the streets. <laughs> but but I guess it's like it's, it's that because then um, I, I don't. Know know like well, maybe people just don't want to have to like deal with the whole well there was this thing that happened yeah, and yeah, this thing yeah. but like internally you're like you know what happened yeah you know, That's you why know what went down. Like, if you don't want to deal with that maybe you shouldn't have started the thing in the first place you know yeah. <laughs> i think it's like a uh, mortal Kombat when you're playing it in an arcade game you know what i mean yeah. and you lose and it's like 10 9 uh, 8 yeah, 10 like a quarter yeah, yeah. yeah. if it gets the one you don't put that quarter in you don't get it back you got to start a new game yeah or mm-hmm. else someone else is going to come in i mean i've had that i have Mar- marvel versus capcom mm-hmm. i swooped in at the last few levels i finished that shit up and then yeah. i gave it back you i'm gave, like hey gave it back to the streets <laughs> yeah dude. do you ever think when somebody gets married you know how they're like who gives this woman away right like it's usually the dad but what if somebody's just like the streets yeah huh. <laughs> the streets give this woman yeah <laughs> and it's just a group of people yeah, what is it? The, um, the wedding. Uh, uh, it's Mortal Kombat characters giving her away. <laughs> Scorpion, he's like, get over get here. Get over yeah. here, yeah. You know what I mean? Love that. Streaking cyborg. Boro. That dude with the arms, form. right? Yeah. That's freaking sick, though. But what were we talking about with uh, before this stuff? Um, we're talking, I think we were, we're talking about like... Oh, um, you're getting in trouble, right? <laughs> yeah, well, it so wasn't, like, we were talking about that like, specifically, me, but we're yeah. generally getting in trouble for... Liking photos. Yeah. For liking photos online. Because I feel like it's never had that happen. Yeah. yeah. I can like, I can like you, whoever... You can like whatever you want. I can you like can whatever like, I want. You got yeah. a burner account, too, I got a burner account. Why? 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 Who are you doing this for? Because I've seen I've seen people get... Okay, Look. the amount of people that I've seen, like, just on Instagram. Remember our audience, too. Be careful yeah. what you say. So on Instagram, sometimes it's just in your feed, you'll see hot chicks. And then it's always embarrassing to see which friends like that hot chicks photos. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, dude. If you look at Meg Thee Stallion's photos, <laughs> every single one is going to be liked by me. I'm remembering a guy I went to high school with. I'm not going to say his name, but he was a very nice guy. Yeah. And then I followed on Instagram. And I think he even did this shit on Facebook. Yeah. But every time the hot girl posted a photo, he would comment sexy body. Oh, I know exactly like what you're talking like about. That. Yeah. Hey, what's that thing Daniel says? <laughs> shoot or shoot? Shoot or shoot. Hey, even if it's a bot, you got to try to reel it in. You know? yeah, shoot it Damn. Up, imagine, t- t- I'm at, all right, look, take imagine, a shot from the logo. <laughs> you're, hitting a, you're trying to hit on a bot? Can you imagine that? Imagine trying to hit People on a bot. What are you shit. gonna try to get? Like a ten percent off code or something? If you if you successfully land that, you're gonna try and get some Ray Bans. Yeah, trying to get that hook up on Ray Bans and stuff. That's crazy. When when I see friends just like trying to comment on like a hot like person's profile picture, yeah. it's just like man. Know that we will see it in the algorithm. Yeah, dude. Looking back to that's you, that's so sad. Like, cause you know comments don't work. I've never seen somebody like go from comment to the end zone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, comments I feel like are the worst possible. Yeah, like dude. DMs, that's the way to that's go. That's the way but to go. Comments like yeah. never comment on yeah. anything, dude. Yeah, like, everybody can see it. It's scary. That's sad. Dude. It's sad because like you know we're judging you. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. we're we're screenshotting it and sending it to like five other friends that we think <laughs> uh-huh. would love it. Like it's great. you. It's like this. You go, you comment, and then it just ends up on the web, and then it just ends up in five group chats, dude. Yeah, just getting cooked. Someone could be talking about you right now. Mm-hmm. And you don't even know about it. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't it crazy how somebody could just be hating you out of nowhere? Yeah, someone happen- could be yeah. talking about you right now, and yeah. you know, there's nothing that you can do about it. Mm-hmm. But I, succeed. I'm hating in my mind right now, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't yeah. even know. Lewis actually has a PhD. Yeah, he does. He has a PhD. Play- well, uh, what did you get it in, Luis? <laughs> He's a, he has got a player hating degree. Player hating degree, damn. Yeah, I do hate a lot, dude. Yeah, dude. He was at, I went to his graduation when they turned the tassels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he threw big- his hat in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's such a beautiful moment dude. <laughs> it was three armenian women <laughs> callbacks baby that's what i'm all about i do yeah. i have Call realized back to another episode because <laughs> yeah. we got dedicated a dedicated fan base you, yeah. i do get a lot of people mad i realize yeah. this uh mm-hmm. i'm remembering one time in high school where i got this guy very very mad and it, it's actually fucked up because um so in our this is 10th grade so in our locker room in the specific locker room we were in uh we used to like do this thing where when someone left a little bit early to go to the gym already mm-hmm. uh we would get a shoestring or something and on the locker there was a little hole where you could put a lock so the thing was you'd put the shoestring in there tied up as much as you can that mm-hmm. way yeah. when they come back they can't open it and it's a huge hassle and they usually end up late for their next class mm-hmm. yeah so one time in p uh i this guy left and then i, I tie up his thing 
But then in PE class, this was a very skinny, scrawny guy. In PE class, I guess he was talking to this really big girl. Mm -hmm. And they got into an argument, and she fucking threw him. Oof. Like, literally threw him against the door, and, like, he went flying, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And that dude just had, like, a mental breakdown. Like, he yeah. just was <laughs> heated. And then in that moment, like, we didn't, like, he left, and we didn't know where he went. And mm -hmm. we had to go back to the locker room. And we all get back to the locker room. And that's when we remember that we fucked up his locker and we tied it up. <laughs> so we're all freaking out. We're like, oh, fuck, this guy's going to come back right now. Yeah. And then we literally see him turn the corner and we all go dead quiet. He walks up to his locker, sees it, and then just walks away. And we're like, oh, fuck, that's very creepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He comes back with the biggest pair of scissors I've ever seen, mm -hmm. cuts off his the string, walks, and then stops right in front of me and stands in front of me for like a solid five seconds just holding the scissors, like gripping the scissors. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And I remember just being like, oh, fuck, I'm about to get stabbed. Uh -huh. yeah. We ended up just walking away afterwards. But for a moment, I was like, damn, like, I went far enough that I would get stabbed in the locker room. Yeah, yeah. That's great. A lot of people don't realize that out of the three of us, Lewis was the biggest bully most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't a bully. I just no, talked I, shit. You would talk a lot of shit. Like, you were, a, no, you were mostly, you lean and bully. You're the type of person to put, like, a pin in your knuckle and then be like, hey, what's up, bro, dude, or whatever you'd say. And then, what would you say in high school? Food? I would just say, hey, what's up? And hey, then I'd high five him. And then you'd go like, and then, why? You just. <laughs> oh, know? yeah. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's, yeah, you that's, gave some kid gang green, too. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's. <laughs> It's crazy. Like, I remember I made Max Eels bleed a lot by that by accident. Oh yeah. my god! Shout out Max Eels. Yeah. Listen to Garage Flowers, dude. Garage Flowers, dude. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, EP yeah. coming out. Oh, that's so. I'd get me so mad, dude. Yeah, yeah, you bully. You'd hurt people. Yeah, one time I put a pin on my friend Miguel's seat, and he sat down, and he kicked the shit out of me, and we both got kicked out, and I felt bad because he got kicked out too. <laughs> really? You were a badass kid, dude. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. And now you're just mild mannered. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's crazy. Yeah. And hot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, any, uh, if any uh, watchers want to comment next time, like, oh, how does, uh, want to send us a question, like, oh, how is Louis cute? so cute? What does he do to maintain his? Uh, yeah, in the comments, uh, name the most attractive feature that Louis has. Yeah. And we'll send you a prize. Is it the mustache, dude? Oh, are we giving out a prize this week? Are we uh, I, I forgot the prizes. There, there's a prize coming to one on. of our... <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, prize is, uh, is iPhone 12, whoever <laughs> comments the very first time. It's very new. It's got three uh, things. Is this a three, cam three cameras? Three cameras, yeah, yeah. Three cam it's got panorama mode. And I know you yeah. need the panorama for the pics that you send out to... <laughs> give me give me that i'm sorry it's that's... crazy if it's got a new phone just so we can like instagram photos faster <laughs> yeah it's 5g is amazing yeah. Yeah. It's but i got 5g like reggie gigas dude <laughs> that dude's got 5g's in his name oh, oh really yeah the pokemon oh that's yeah. cool um but yeah vince has been on tiktok lately just liking a bunch of like his algorithm looks crazy you can literally see the things that i've liked <laughs> really yeah you, you, you can't see it. oh really you, you can turn that off oh yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> that was the worst feature when it was on instagram was oh like my knowing who's liking what yeah, and, yeah. Tell me, no. shout out to mad avula dude <laughs> this oh, man. i didn't want to bring up his name when i brought, when i said that thing earlier but yeah <laughs> I'm like, damn, I know who is horny at 8 a.m. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Instagram, why'd you do that? Funny. Dude, that morning one got you got me fucked up. I'm like, damn, yeah, all right. Does it just show you, like, some of your friends stay horny for real, dude? <laughs> <laughs> like, being, being horny is a 24 7 job, dude. Like, it's, like being a, it's like being a cop or detective. It's like I'm on the clock all the time. I'm like, you like 100 pictures. It's Aren't you working? <laughs> what it's, are you like, doing? it's like 2 in the morning, you get like a phone call. It's like in the streets. I'm also, this chick has 400,000 followers. Like, she's not gonna notice your one like, bro. Like, it's crazy, who man. Who is this for? <laughs> Dude, it's weird because I do like every single one of Drake's posts, though. So I'm like, I just, <laughs> want, I just want to support, yeah. you know. But it's crazy, just like, because it would show you like everything that they would like, you know, yeah. show you their yeah. name and then just show you every single post. And you can just look at it, man. Terrible um, feature. Terrible feature. Instagram really messed up on that. <clears throat> yeah. You know, but now it's gone. Now it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, what are you talking about? Like, I, what, I gotta what? go. I gotta go. <laughs> I will be right back, dude. But uh, yeah, TikTok it doesn't show you what you like. You know what I mean? Yeah, so my, what, mine does. I think. Why? It's why is there a feature showing people what they like? You know, because I've gotten in trouble with that on Twitter. You know? Yeah. Like, why did you like this? I'm like, because oh. I'm a liker, dude. If you like this, you, you can. Might yeah, like. you can still do that on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I'm a liker, dude. I show. I, I show positivity. If I see something, I don't even like it. I'll like it. It's not even a, a liker. It's a supporter. I'm a supporter. Yeah. I'm a supportive guy. 
you know? I support yeah. people. You support, yeah, people, their beliefs, ideology, etc. Yeah, yeah support, you're yeah. really liberal about the capital insurrection. You know? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah, dude. I'm like, they, they should really get those guys out of there. They should get those guys out of there. I don't shit. like, I, don't, I remember once by accident I said the capital intersection. The capital intersection. <laughs> you hear about the capital intersection? Like, yeah, the <laughs> traffic is nuts. It's a roundabout now, yeah. dude. Just, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Uh, there for three hours? Yeah, dude, but. This is actually reminding me something. I want to talk about money now. Okay. Yeah, so, hey, that's all we've been talking about. I don't know what you've been doing. Getting it, yeah. like spending it's about to get, it. It's about to be not funny at all because when it comes to money, I don't joke around. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't I don't play. I don't play. That's why I never played Monopoly. Yeah, you don't play yeah. with people's money. Go on, Luis. <laughs> I, I think money's weird just because uh, I feel like a million. If I got a million dollars right now, like yeah. it would change my entire family's life. Yeah. So that makes me think just like some people don't need that much money. Yeah. Like people, someone who's a billionaire, that's just so much goddamn money. It's yeah. like an insurmountable amount of money that literally is being wasted with mm-hmm. one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That being said, I love seeing like Floyd Money Mayweather videos, oh, and yeah. I'm like, damn, that's hard though. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. I think it might just be I like seeing people of color with money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's a lot cooler just because yeah. they spend it on such cool shit. You know, yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, I'll see. I'll find out. Like, oh, this person made this much in the stock market, and then I'm like, I don't give a fuck. But then I see Floyd Money Mayweather like show thirty Rolexes, and I'm like, damn, that's mm-hmm. fucking goals, dude. Like, I need that. Yeah, yeah. dude. He, ha- he has a fucking suitcase full of a million dollars and all the time. It's crazy because we. I feel like we are like a culture that values like materialism. You know, like we're like, oh, he has this, he has that. They're mm-hmm. cool. White but- people, they get money, they buy business, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. and we we get money and we. I'm forgetting the lyric. Wait, I thought it was my money. Don't spend it. We buy get oh, money yeah. and go ignorant or something. Go like ignorant. Yeah. 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 Forgive me, Spike Lee. Or rather buy eighty gold chains and go, go ignorant. Okay. Yeah. We're all messing up. Yeah. <laughs> we can't rap, That's, but we know our shit. Yeah. You the know? book of Ye. Yeah. Um, I I mean I would love to buy stupid stuff <clears throat> as much as I could. Um, you do. I I mean I do. I mean I got a, I got a deck of cards. That's like what like seventeen in in my in my chump change. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I love trading cards. I mean, we've, we've both spent a lot of money on Magic the Gathering cards. Yeah, some of my decks are pretty expensive. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah, I'm just like, I like to flex. I like to be like, I spent this much money on cardboard. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. With pictures of vampires. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, them in what, the what, what's something that you've uh, spent a lot of money on? This light, dude. This thing was over $1,000. Wow. wow. Yeah, dude, but I'm, I spend it because I'm all about investing in the boys. Yeah. You know? We all we've all invested different things into this. Uh, Daniel is doing the lights. Uh, I'm doing the prizes and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So Lewis yeah. is putting. Uh, I showed up. He showed yeah, up. He showed up. Yeah, we're, that's, we're, he's, that's the most important not, part of the podcast. This. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, mean? I brought that gun that I yeah. got when I was. Yeah. This is a Christmas present of when I was a kid. Lewis is the person to show up to the potluck without any food. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what was everyone else's job? You guys told me not to bring anything. Oh, don't you hate when you go to a potluck and some motherfucker brings plates? Oh, yeah. I hate that kind of person who's just like, I'm going to bring plates and soda and chips. And I'm like, dude, go home. It's funny because honestly, most potlucks are like, we ordered pizza and then it's just like Every- four other sides. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Everybody eats pizza with mashed potatoes. Yeah, nothing's like healthy about a potluck at all. Yeah. Maybe you'll get like five desserts and then like yeah. just pizza. Everybody brings like lemon cake and it's so many chips, so much chips. The it's idea old. is like, good but it's like no this is gonna kill me yeah dude that's communism you know it's just a potluck yeah <laughs> i'm just playing dude you know and I mean? just like potluck at the comedy store it's bad for us yeah bad, and it's good for vince right look, no look <laughs> we, we both we 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 both done potluck right mm-hmm. you, Daniel's never done, done it? it i've never done it really yeah lewis I, has done it i bombed so goddamn hard when did you do it uh a while ago was i there when you did it no you weren't no he wasn't well, me and daniel were going solo and then Ben shows up and just dunks on us yeah that's dude. not true vince i don't we never i never wanted to go back to the comedy yeah, vince store. has clout dude i just i know i would have ripped it up if i went over there dude. yeah you would have I, I was like put me in coach and they didn't want to put me in i was about to have my linsanity moment i i would look i was gonna next time if i go up i'm, a, I'm gonna do half of it and i'm gonna pass the mic to you yeah yeah that'd be sick would shoot us crazy at the comedy if store if he's so mad back to back dude tag team it yeah, they'd be like, "Oh no!" Th- some white dude wearing Vans would be fucking pissed. So white dude wearing Vans, and I like he still gets money from his mom yeah, <laughs> to like support comedy. Everybody who was a door guy just. Looks I'm like that comedy store shirt doesn't mean shit, dude. Fucking meet me out in the streets, it, bitch. Shit don't mean nothing in hey, the streets, man. I don't hey, want to talk to your manager. Meet me in the parking lot. Hey, bro, it's now a that I think about it, yeah. I'm, it's I'm just. 
thinking it's such a funny image. Imagine seeing a dude from the comedy store getting beat up in public uh. and they rip his shirt off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that fucking shirt, bitch. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, and you know, like even if it's ripped off, they're gonna they're gonna be crying, just whimpering, <laughs> picking the shirt back up and be like, I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Somebody needs to fix this. Yeah. You guys ever seen that video of like some dude running up on his friend from the back and he just grabs his shirt and just rips it all the way off? No. And, like that, that, that's the thing. Is, like I'm not even like talking trash about like you know comedy. It's just like people that people that are clicky in comedy where I'm like, you know, you don't have to feel like you're holier than thou just because you hang out at a building, you know? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's why like Mia's we invited everybody, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I let a we home- are the building. Yeah, I let a homeless guy do stand up ones. Yeah. <laughs> and he had a better set than people most of the time, dude. Yeah I, yeah. I remember Kevin was like, Who is this guy? And I'm like, He's homeless. Yeah. And he's like, Oh shit. Like, I, legit yeah. couldn't tell the difference. Okay, here's <laughs> the thing you just have to give people opportunity. You know, yeah. you let someone who's homeless, you know, we have, there's people that have like a lot of weird prejudice against homeless people for whatever reason, but mm-hmm. just give them an opportunity to, to shine. You gotta let people shine. Yeah, dude. I'm, what if, what I'm remembering people? one time, uh, a porn star showed up to the a male porn star showed up to the mic and oh he did, really like he's like oh this is one of my first jokes and we're all very supportive and I went home and I'm like yeah I'm gonna watch this guy's fucking videos yeah. and like really kind of like on the border of like being not okay wait what do you, what mean? you mean like pretty rapey scenes oh, oh really where it, that's you, like a genre though right yeah it's yeah. genre yeah. but I remember being like oh like you're like I'm still gonna jerk off to this <laughs> I couldn't I was, I was like it's too much but I remember <laughs> just being like I forgot this is like a specific category of porn and i'm like yeah i didn't know if i should respect that guy's like <laughs> the genre or, bending, or, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> people have break fantasies we're supposed to um, support all sex workers but in this case like i don't know i felt kind of conflicted yeah i it's weird when like you have a stance on something and there's something that blurs the line and you're like well what what the fuck should i do <laughs> yeah we've all you've had, you've had a moment like that you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah we're, we're all human we, we don't have to support every sex worker yeah i'll say it you know, we don't hey, have to support everybody. You were saying, uh-huh. what, what were you saying before I cut in? Because I, I didn't mean to cut in. You know, I don't think about it. I just say yeah. things. I just, you know. Shoot from the hip. I shoot, yeah, from, the shoot hip, from the hip. Not everyone's yeah. going to hit the target, but I'm just like, oh. imagine I just go, bah, and I hit two innocent victims. You know? <laughs> I'm a cowboy, man. I told you, dude. Yeah. I, should, I should wear a cowboy hat when I do people this podcast. People die in the Wild West. It's the Wild West, people. It's the Wild West. You know, it's wild out here. It's a wild, wild world. Huh? It's Everything is for the taken, you know? Everything was for, I'm like uh, doing the Henry Hill thing. Everything uh. was for the taking, you know? Uh, but this thing is pretty sick. This is a dope-ass gun, dude. Yeah, it's Megatron. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's also a robot. It's a bad boy, dude. Dude, man, sh- shooting somebody in the head. <laughs> I know a guy that I'm... That is the craziest thing. Crazy. I know a guy Imagine that, I, taking someone's life the most yeah. gruesome way well, possible. Actually, you, not all people die if they get shot in the head. Yeah. That's true. Malala is one person who survived. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. She's a woman's rights activist. Malala. You yeah. know Malala. She, oh, the vice president. She won the Ma- Nobel... <laughs> Malala Harris. <laughs> that's crazy. But she won, laugh, a, she, won a no, she won a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Lewis is trying to hold back. He's <laughs> trying really hard to be... He's like, trying really hard to be... Uh, what? PC? Yeah. I don't know. Well, fuck it. We're going into when I was in high school and Malala was just popping off and everyone's like Malala's fucking sick you know uh, yeah. when Malala was as big as Travis Scott is right now you yeah, know yeah, yeah. a friend of mine was like yo like they shot her in the eye and I was like yeah and he's like she got like a Terminator right now like <laughs> that's crazy just red, just they, dun, they dun, shot dun, her dun. she has like <laughs> she has like entry level like rapper thing you know yeah. not entry level but like hardened rapper type yeah, of thing yeah. where she's been shot and she speaks the truth all the time like, they shot her in the she eye? said fuck ISIS dude. Through, through the head you know I think she was like on a school bus or something yeah. and they were coming in and you know just shooting really yeah because yeah, she advocated for uh, girls learning in school yeah Damn, bro I can't stand ISIS I don't I know that like that's your thing I don't even know if it was ISIS or not I can't stand any of them dude <laughs> we're gonna turn ISIS into I was dude bro. yeah ISIS <laughs> Such a dope ass. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Look, ISIS, and if you short ISIS by a little bit, if you take out one of the syllables, what is it? What is it? It's no ice. Ice. Yeah. Another villain. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck you know. ice. Yeah. Straight up. Oh yeah. yeah ice sucks dick. Yeah. Um, ice. If if you run with ice, don't come here. Yeah, if you like right? ice, because look, everything Liddy, I like when it's hot. Yeah. And ice is not hot. Yeah. So that means I don't like it. Yeah, your your bitch is as cold as as hot as ice, mm-hmm. right? That's oh. a yeah. Your bitch is as hot as ice. Yeah, yeah that's dude. another Drake lyric. Gross, dude. Yeah. 
that Drake is Mexican sometimes, I think. <laughs> oh, or explain that. How is Drake Mexican? Well, he had yeah. that music video in a Mexico jersey. That, yeah. doesn't, that doesn't mean you're Mexican. That's that's, this is like the like Darth Vader me- thing all over again. Because <laughs> just because you put something on doesn't mean you're that culture. That's like cultural appropriation, right? I feel like Mexicans would support it, though. Yeah. Look, Drake is Mexican because he says the N-word so much. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. I've never even heard a rapper say the N-word as much as Drake. And then you look at him, you're like, I'm not too sure if he could say it. But he, he says it so much. Mexican people need to stop saying the N-word. Why, well, why, why do they say it? It's because... Because they can get, I'm, not look, saying, I'm not saying they yeah, all do. No, I'm just I'm saying, saying some do. Mexicans, they. Uh, <laughs> well, there was the, a, there was a Mexican artist whose literal name was the N word. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, his he's still touring. Can you say his name? <laughs> I'm kidding. He's still touring. I'll look it up. Yeah, I was yeah. at Rolling Loud, right? You know, OG, yeah. right? Yeah. From Shoreline Mafia. He's on stage, and a lot of his lyrics are the N word. And yeah. he's got the whole crowd going crazy. Black people, white people, every, like, fucking Mexicans going nuts. I'm embarrassed by, like, it's, Mexican it's, people that say that N word sometimes. So, it's, this guy's name is. So on Google, it comes up as Flex. Felix. Uh, Fili- uh, oh, is that, is that Felix Flexen? Or yeah. From uh, oh, Shoreline? No, no, no. Uh, so this guy, his name is Felix, known by his stage name Flex and N word. Yeah. He's <laughs> a Panamanian reggaeton singer, but he had like a huge song that popped up when we were probably like in elementary school. Yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah. but in the U.S. he's Flex, but in Mexico he was. Uh-huh. The yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, dude. You ever go through? You ever look at your old yearbook? Um, I never bought yearbook. Not, not as often as. Like you ever go through your high school? Let me check this shit right here. Yes, he was hot now. You ever look through your high <laughs> school yearbook yeah. and then just open it and just reminisce a little bit and then look at your signatures and be like, wow, that is way too many N words. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot wow. that's in your yearbook. That's fucking that's it's crazy. You gotta burn this. Nah, yeah, I know, dude. I can cancel so many people who are posting. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's anybody so who runs for office, you're like, well, why did you say this about me? water? But it's so funny because yeah. all the people that are posting up like all this woke shit, woke shit, woke shit, woke shit, and then you just look at your yearbook and I'm like, you were just saying, what's up, man? And, and I- it's just, it's, I understand like you're supposed to grow up and you're supposed to get more woke, but it's like, yeah. don't act like like you weren't part of it either everybody was in this shit yeah 2014 was a different time it, it was a different world it was a whole different world dude but yeah i think it, i blame drake for mexican saying the edward so much it was Probably. it was right about the time nothing was the same popped off and started from the bottom if you don't say the n-word with that song it's a hard song to sing or we made it or we made it yeah i don't even know if i want to tell that story no that's there, fine yeah. yeah yeah i mean there's there's a, a lot of i guess latinos in rap that say the n-word yeah. like six nine mm-hmm. like um what's that other dude who was um a little punk Lil Pump, oh, yeah. Jeezy, but yeah, it's, he's Cuban. He's Cuban. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. All but right. uh, a lot of Mexicans. We don't claim him. Yeah. 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 It's crazy because people always say, like, Mexicans can't say the N word, right? Yeah. Well, like I just said, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But literally, you hear them saying it, so they can say the N word. You're physically able to, but yeah, you should Mexicans, not be able Mexicans to do it. Yeah. Shouldn't say the N word. Yeah. That's probably your thing. You know what yeah. I mean? But when is, the, when is the last time you've seen a Mexican do something that they were supposed to do? Because we, <laughs> we don't even come to this country when we're not supposed. They're like, you can't come to the country. And like, we're, I know we're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you should just give them things to do. Yeah, yo, Mexicans took the like they treated the N word like mm. American jobs. We are taking it. We took it. We took it. Like it's your thing, yeah. But we're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take it because there's just so many. Of we're us. in the field doing the real work. Yeah. yeah. This is this is our word now. <laughs> uh, my, yeah. my grandfather literally worked in a cotton field. <laughs> really? Yeah. My, my grandparents worked in a strawberry field. Like, That's picking, great. Um, produce and everything. I don't you hate strawberry fields forever? Nothing is easy. Yeah. With they eyes bump that all the time. Yeah. Picking produce. Yeah. But don't you hate when people are like, "Hey, don't like uh, what's this, what's this thing about low hanging fruit?" You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, bitch, you never picked fruit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the easiest word to get. Oh, no, no, that's the hardest fruit to get because you have to bend over. Yeah, low, low hanging fruit. No, I thought it's the easiest because you got to climb up for the the damn high hanging fruit. Think, when I was thinking of low hanging, I'm thinking of like bushes. Oh no, they're like saying low hanging fruit is too easy, but like, you never pick fruit. Yeah. So don't talk yeah. to me about picking fruit. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean, don't. all you do is eat fruit. You know what I mean? But yeah, Vince, I think you should lay off the N word a little bit. Oh, okay. For sure. All right. And you're the right. N word is no. You know. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna reevaluate my stance on it. Yeah. yeah. You know what word I do like? The F Can word. You, you know my favorite. Bit, um, you know what my favorite word is? The F word. You know what my favorite F word is? Friday. Hey. All right. <laughs> you like God. that, guys? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, that song. Yeah, you like that song a lot. Friday. Hmm. What's what's that, that song? Remember that song called "It's Friday." Remember the age? Oh, the Rebecca yeah. Black song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These guys, you knew her name because she was like underage at the time. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I'm remembering that one time when we were teenagers in the car, uh, the so- a song came. We were in the car, with Vince's mom. Uh, a song came on called "Cheerleader." Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Vince told his mom that that was my favorite song. 
<laughs> and the look she gave me was like half laughing, half like, "Are you fucking serious right now?" <laughs> like you fucking creep, you you child. Why do you like this song? The song goes like, "Ooh, I found myself a cheerleader." Like it, it, mm. it's a lot. She is it's a fun song, there, dude. When it's I not a good song. At all. I said it's, it's a, a fun it's song. It's like if I'm at the Grove and they're playing the cheerleader song, I'm like, oh, I'll get some Wetzel's pretzel. Yeah, <laughs> that's literally what that song is made for: meeting at the Grove, eating a pretzel. Yeah, or at the Americana. You know, the eighth wonder of the world, right? Yeah, the eighth wonder of the world. You know, you yeah. got the you got the pyramids mm -hmm. you got the americana <laughs> yeah dude yeah uh -huh. <laughs> my god the pyramids were built by armenians too in Glen <laughs> <laughs> right pyramids I, ain't got no fountain though they, they ain't got, got no barnes and nobles they got no barnes and noble yeah no yeah. apple store no apple cheesecake store? factory bitch you got a pacific <gasps> the, theaters the pharaohs weren't even eating cheesecake dude. coffee bean coffee bean hey oh, we no. should get cheesecake factory one of these days yeah because it's outdoor dining back and i know how much you love cheesecake i love cheesecake just, oh, i know man. how much you love to argue there too yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, Cheesecake Factory is a place for families mm -hmm. who drive Crammers. And Vince goes to Disney. <laughs> I love going to Disney. Let's not answer that. Let's say, look, if I had a Are you kid, guys going to Disney now and it's open? It's is it open? It's not open. But <laughs> look, if, like, if don't I, quote me on this, but I might go to Disney if you, in December. If you had a chance to go to Disney World right now. That's literally what I was just saying. Really? I w look. Dude, I would go. I would go to Disney World. Cool. I'm, I'm actually planning to go to Disney World in December. I'm planning on going to Disney World. Dick, it's so cheap right now. Is it really so cheap? Yeah. Talk to me this is about the uh, after look, this shit, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm going with, with my girlfriend, so no, no, I, might, I don't yeah. want to go with you. Yeah. Well, I would like to go with you, I but go I with can't you go with you. I can't go. I want to go with you yeah, too, yeah. but I would take Lewis too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, what if we pay for your stuff? Oh, I'd go, uh, but I'd never pay to go to Disneyland. Wow. World, Lewis World. You can go ride the Avatar. Where to ride. drop Luis's Venmo? <laughs> send him some money so we can take his ass to Disneyland. Would it be funny if we just started putting our Venmo in our like bio? We could. And just see what happens. I've seen someone do that. So. That'd be fucking crazy. Dude. I've seen, yeah, a lot of girls have that. Yeah. yeah. A lot of girls have that? They mm -hmm. have their Venmo. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Just send the money. We're for the streets, dude. We're for the streets, We're dude. for the streets. Any last thoughts before we end, wrap this thing up? Uh, no, guys. Again, thank you so much for, for listening. We are at uh, over 400 subscribers now, and we're so happy that you're listening to us uh, for however long you do it. Mm -hmm. But keep listening. Tell your friends to check us out. Uh, next week, we'll have a prize for you. And submit questions. If you have a question that you want us to answer, shoot it our way. Visit our Instagram and DM it, and we'll take care of it next episode. Mm -hmm. All right. And this podcast is more than meets the eye. Oh, I like that, him. dude. Oh, my name is Daniel Cabral. I'm Vince Caldera. I'm Luis Lamas. See you guys next time.